This is Quantiqualia, and it's a very important piece of music for me because this is the first piece of music I ever had in print. It was the first track on Blue in Blue, and this was my first ever commercial album. I think it's safe to say that it's become my most popular piece of music. And I think this is because of its simplicity. And what I want to do is just to show you on the page how simple it is and, and uh, how the different textures have been built. So, this is the vocal score. Here we've got the piano reduction of the orchestra, the choir and the soprano solo. And when I first wrote this, I wrote it for my good friend, the soprano Janet Coxwell. Though um, a few months after we made the first recording, um, a new recording was made by um, Hayley Westenra. And um, you'll see that the soprano soloist just sings repeated B flats. And I've always loved the way you can have a repeated note under changing chords. There's something very stabilising and comforting about it. The words are by my brother Andrew. And in Latin they mean, O oh my soul wait, anima mea. And they go on to say how great and how wonderful the moment of meeting will be. The whole piece is simply made up of a 21 bar chord sequence. Here it is, look, in the piano reduction. And against that chord sequence, I put a melody for the soprano and then choral textures. But first of all, I'd just like you to hear how this chordal sequence, which is the basis of the whole piece, sounds on its own. Once we've heard the whole 21 bars, I repeat the same section, but this time I introduce a melody in the oboe. And this melody develops and really exists as a piece in its own right. But over it, I continue the choral textures and now I bring in the soprano. And this is really the climax of the work because the soprano gets higher and higher. A flat, B flat, C, and then a top D. And what I wanted to create here is really a feeling of ecstasy as the singer sings about this moment of meeting and how great and how wonderful it will be. After this section with the soprano climax, I repeat the chord sequence once again. There's a reference back to the opening and then towards the end I give the tenors and basses this slight moment of dissonance the E flat and D resolution the 
soprano refers back to the repeated notes of the very first phrase and the music subsides into this lovely calm key of E flat major. All of the orchestra play and all of the singers sing in this perfect moment of meeting. 